Hi guys, welcome to today's lecture on the modeling of clock dividers and counters using VHDL. So in today's lecture I will first describe what is a clock divider, then how do we design clock dividers in VHDL, the basics of counters, how do we model counters in VHDL and we look at some special counters and modeling them in VHDL. So what is a clock divider? That is if I have a clock signal let's say these are the rising edges and I put it through a circuit so this is my clock signal and I put it through a circuit such that I would like to divide the clock by 2 such that for every one positive edge of the new clock the old clock should have two positive edges or the other way around for every two positive edges my new clock should have just one positive edge like this So if you see this new clock is old clock divided by 2 okay so I would like to make a circuit that takes the old clock and divide the new clock by 2 such that we have a relationship like this suppose this would be a divide by 4 what would happen is I would have a waveform something like this that is for every 4 rising edges of the clock I would have one rising edge of the new clock okay I hope that is clear that this is a clock divider so how would I make this divider in VHDL? <coughs> Before that let me explain a concept. Suppose I have a signal A which is 3 bits which is 3 bits and I write that as in a clocked process if clock tick event and clock equal to 1 then A gets A plus 1 end if okay obviously this is in a process and you can understand those components now suppose if I write something like this what does this mean that initially if A is 3 bits it is 0 0 0 and at every edge of the clock that is here A gets A plus 1 so it will be 0 0 1 then 0 1 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 okay and then 1 1 1 this is in effect a counter and we will see this separately as a counter example as a future part of this lecture same lecture so if you look at this carefully if I have this A I'm going to call this A0 A1 and A2 which are the three bits of A now at every edge of the clock I go from 0 0 0 to 0 0 1 and then from here to here so if I look at my a 0 very carefully if I look at my a 0 very carefully and if I plot a waveform for just a 0 with respect to clock so let's make a waveform 
first let's draw a clock. Now let's look at A0, say this is clock. <clears throat> Initially, if I assume that A0 is 0, okay, then at the first edge of the clock, A0 becomes 1. Let's take a different color. A0 becomes 1. This is the first edge of the clock, which is here. Then at the second edge of the clock, A0 becomes 0. The third edge of the clock, the A0 becomes 1, and this keeps going on because you have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So if you effectively look at A0 very closely, A0 is actually my clock divided by 2. Is it not that for every one edge or sorry, for every two edges of the clock, I get one edge of A0. Similarly, for every two edges of the clock, I get one edge of A0. Similarly, if you look at A1 very closely, for every four edges of the clock, for every four edges of the clock, I get one edge, which is here. So now you can get a hint that how I can divide the clock. That is, if I write a process like this with a signal A, which is standard logic vector 2 down to 0. So, and if you look at the individual bits of A, if you look at the individual bits of A, A0, A1, and A2, A0 will be clock divided by 2, A1 will be clock divided by 4, A2 will be clock divided by 8, and henceforth. So, I hope this basic concept is clear. Now, let's look at a formal VHDL code and how that would be written. So I would have process before that I would first define a signal which is divider of the type standard logic vector. So if I say 5 down to 0, okay then I have my begin. I say process clock begin if rising edge again you can write clock tick event and clock equal to 1 that is fine. If rising edge clock then divider is assigned divider plus 1 and if and process well this is just the divider description now suppose if I have another process let's take process and if I would like to use a divided clock. So for example, if I want to use clock divide by 2 for another process, I will use it as follows. I will say process divider 0 means I'm using the 0th bit or the first bit of the divider which is effectively clock divide by 2. If you remember, I explained that the 
zeroth bit here would be clock divided by 2 so suppose if i want to use a process which would like to use a clock divide by 2 signal then i would assign divider 0 here and then use it in the process then i would say if rising edge divider 0 then and then use the process okay is that clear so first you need to describe the divider then you can use this divided signal as a part of your design I hope that is clear now similarly if I have a counter a counter is basically something that counts so let's say if I have a 3 bit counter which was same like the divider I would go 0 0 1 0 1 0 0 1 1 henceforth now if I want to make a counter that increments slowly at for example clock divide by 8 so you want to make a counter that increments slowly at clock divide by 8 what would be the VHDL design for that so the the problem statement is let's define write a counter write a 3 bit counter in VHDL which increments at a speed of clock divided by 8 this is the problem statement now the question is how will you design this so you would first define two signals which would be signal count of the type standard logic vector 2 down to 0 since you need a 3 bit counter so it will be 2 down to 0 then you will see make a signal divider or div which is again of the standard logic vector 2 down to 0 let's just for fun sake let's make it 3 down to 0 which would be a 4 bit signal so how would we write the process first I will divide the clock so I have to describe my divider so I will write process clock begin if rising edge clock then divider is divider plus 1 end if end process so I effectively divided my clock here now I'm going to use it such that process now I want what was my problem statement that I should have clock divide by 8 8 is equal to 2 raised to 3 so I will use my third bit okay if I use my first bit or if I start from 0 the 0th bit then I'm dividing by 2 raised to 1 and hence I'm dividing by 2 so for my division by 8 I will need the third bit so process divider 2 because I have 0 1 2 so hence I'll use divider 2 begin if rising edge divider 2 so for every rising edge of divider 2 I will do count is count plus 1 end if and end process so here I describe my divider here I use the divider to describe my counter okay 
Is this clear? So effectively your divider is a counter. If you look at this very carefully, your divider is a counter which we are using then we are using a specific signal of your divider as a separate clock. If you look at this, we we first make a divider and then we use a separate bit. So we use the second bit of your divider to then increment a counter. So for every rising edge of this signal, my counter will increment and this divider actually increments on what your general clock. Okay. I hope that's clear. Now, special counters. Let's write a problem statement. Write a special counter such that it increments on clock. Okay, so now there is no division, it increments on clock and resets at 110. So a special 3 bit counter that increments on clock and resets at 110. So how do I write that in VHDL? Very simple. First I'll define my signal count of type standard logic vector 2 down to 0. Okay. Then I write my process clock. If rising edge clock, so let's write if clock tick event and clock equal to 1, then now comes the special way of writing it that is if count is equal to 110 then count is assigns 000 okay else count is assigned count plus 1 and if for this one and then the end if for this one okay now that said how does this work that as long as my count is not 110 I will keep incrementing my count value at the edge of the clock the minute my count reaches the value 110 then my circuit will reset count to 000 at the edge of the clock so effectively we just covered this problem which was a special 3 bit counter that increments on clock and resets at 0 at 110 so that's what i've done here that at 110 i will reset the clock the counter gets resetted as long as it is not 110 i will keep incrementing the counter now where would you apply this where would you apply this we will see an example of a stopwatch a stopwatch has milliseconds has seconds so suppose if I have a 50 megahertz clock suppose if I have a 50 megahertz clock then in that particular situation 50 megahertz is 50 into 10 raised to 6 cycles per second so which is in seconds it would be 1 upon 50 into 10 raised to 6 seconds which is 50 microseconds so if I would like to make a circuit that counts in seconds and in milliseconds how do I do that I will have to make a counter 
that counts up to a fixed value and then stops and starts from zero again that would give me my milliseconds another fixed value would give me my seconds so special counters are applied in practical applications such as a stopwatch which we will see as part of our lab so I hope that this lecture on dividers that is how to divide a clock so we first describe a divider using a single process and then we use a divider using another process then we saw how to specify a special counter which would count up to a fixed value and then stop and then reset from 000, zero, zero. and we also saw an example of using a divider towards a counter which can run at a slow count we saw that example as well that is how do you use a count and a divider and first divide the clock and then use the slower clock for counting the value so once you do a practical example on the stopwatch it would be much clearer so I shall see you in the next lecture thank you very much